So hi everybody. Many, many of you may know that um, I'm a very passionate boater. And um, so today I really wanted to share a bit of the story of one of our new clients, uh, Mike Lovell from Anacortes Yacht Charters. Uh, because I think uh, they run a remarkable business and I think that um, many people right now are looking for a, a little bit of a, a ray of sunshine, a little bit of um, lightness and, and hope and planning some exciting things um, in the middle of what we are living in the world right now. So I think, <clears throat> I think sorry, Mike has a very interesting story to share as far as what they can offer with uh, Ana Cortez Yacht Charters and how they have adapted to that new situation that we all live in. So Mike, uh, I'd, I'd love you to introduce yourself. I am Mike Lovell. I am president of Anacortes Yacht Charters. It's, uh, I've been here since 1997. So we continue to kind of uh, exist with those principles. Um, you know, Anacortes Yacht Charters is a is a bare boat charter company located in Anacortes, Washington, which is uh, the jumping off point to the San Juan and Canadian Gulf Islands. We are, you know, right at the 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 south end of the San Juan Islands. We're, you know, for example, from our docks here to Friday Harbor on San Juan Island in the heart of the islands is an 18 nautical mile trip. So, you know, most of the boats are going to be able to get you from here to there on the uh, east side of Vancouver Island, which, you know, and the Olympic Peninsula and the mountains in the Olympic Peninsula that knock down a lot of the weather that, that would otherwise make it in here and, and you know, affect people's travels uh, just doesn't... Uh, it doesn't happen. Most of the rain falls out on the coast in the Olympic Peninsula, and by the time the clouds reach here, there's not much water left in them anymore. So it is drier here. The winds are not bad. You don't get the big sea swells because of the area we exist in, again, protected by Vancouver Island and the coast of Washington. Um, the 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 area that we send the vast majority of our people out to cruise in is a really comfortable, compact cruising area. You're never out of sight of land. Uh, navigation is is really easy because of that. Um, you know, the, the the biggest factor we have to really deal with um, is is tides and currents. You know, you do have to know how to read a tide book and and understand what you know the 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 influx and outflow of tides is going to do to you and how much water is under the boat is probably the biggest factor for us um the diversity of the cruising ground is a is another huge huge factor you can you can spend a week in the san juan and gulf islands and and do you know an entire week at remote destinations where you're you're on a morning ball in a state park or a provincial park and you know there might be a half a dozen boats in the same areas with you um, or you can spend a week traveling from some of the bigger marinas right now we think that you know being on a boat out on the water with your with your family and, and friends is is just a way a great way to kind of uh, get away from the larger populated areas, take a break from all this stuff that that we've all been dealing with the virus. Um, and and we'd love to see more people come out and, and visit and take advantage of the area. We have currently about 65 boats in the fleet, both power and sail. Um, there are around 15 sailboats and um, we'd love to have more. Um, and then the rest of the boats are power boats. And those boats will range in size from as small as a, a 28, 29 footer. In general, we're not gonna turn down a boat um, because we don't think it's gonna charter 12 or 14 weeks a year. If an owner is okay with a boat chartering four or five weeks a year and there's enough generated revenue to, to make it more, um, palatable for them or financially beneficial for them, I guess is the right way to put it. Uh, we'll take that boat on. I mean, the, the only boats that, that 
we will really shy away from are boats that that don't show pride of ownership that are not mechanically reliable and sound that don't um that don't show the history of maintenance being upkept and that kind of thing. Cause for us, we sell time. It's your vacation. And, and the worst possible thing that we can have happen for a customer is to have their vacation interrupted by a mechanical issue. Kristen and I, since we're owners, we're allowed to be here and, and we're working the phones and emails and, and addressing uh, people's questions and concerns and, uh, regarding what is going to happen for trips that they have booked for this summer. Um, we are taking reservations. It's, it's really interesting. Everybody's approach to this um, in terms of our charter customers is, is it's a little bit all over the board. We've had people that call and want to book for the end of May. And then we've had other people that have charters in July that are calling to question whether they're going to be able to go on their trip. We've really kind of tailored the the process of checking a customer out and going through systems on a boat um, to adhere to the social distancing rules and practices that we should all be following right now. The important thing I think to note there, though, is as you mentioned, there are manuals that are, you know, developed or set up initially for every boat in the fleet and then over time they get developed as systems on the boat change and so the manuals are good there's good information that that a customer can go to that manual on the boat if they have a question about a system and it'll walk you through the the processes to uh, uh, to get that system going say you want to fire up the generator for example there's a whole section in a manual that says okay here's the starting process for your generator uh, this is the kind of power that it'll supply and this is what you should reason to be able to run in terms of AC equipment on a boat when you're running off generator power. And I just think it's important for a, a customer to know that, that you know, when they leave the dock, um, there's still tons of support here in the office. And, and so much of what comes up for a customer during the trip are things that are pretty easy to walk through in a simple telephone conversation. You know, we recognize that the vast majority of the time these people are getting on boats they've never been on before. Um, and each boat's got its own little idiosyncrasies and, and it, it is more often than not as simple as a simple two minute phone conversation. Over the course of being associated with Anacortes Yacht Charters, we've had the opportunity to take some really, really wonderful vacations. Um, we have a timeshare in Maui and, and we've been able to go to Europe and we've done some really cool stuff. Uh, the, the trips that my boys remember are without fail, the trips that we've taken here boating. We were coming home from a 4th of July trip in Roach Harbor and he he grew up on a boat, right? He grew up boating with us. So we get to the north end of Orcas Island between Orcas and Susha. And I looked at him and I said, hey, can you, do you think you could tell us where we are? And he, I said, in a chart book. And he goes, yeah. And so he grabs a chart book, he opens up the right page and he points right to where we were on the chart book. I said, do you think you could get us home? And we're on a 50 plus foot power boat. He goes, yeah, I think so. I said, all right, I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, you're in charge, Mitchell. You take us home. He brought us all the way home to the entrance to the channel to our marina here, brought us down the channel, turned the boat, put it in the marina, turned it towards a dock, turned it down the fairway, and had the boat pointed into the slip before I said, well, I probably better put it in the slip for you. <laughs> I mean, those are – our family has loved boating our entire lives. Um, I don't anticipate that will ever change. Um, there's so many great places to visit out there and so many of them we haven't even been able to get to yet.